My name is Virginia Mendoza. I work with the Memorial Hermann Pediatric Hospice. Um, what the work means to me is just being able to connect with my community and still be able to help that population that requires my, my skill set. The connection between my work life and my own life um, sometimes run together. They ca I can't disconnect fully work and um, personal kind of life, that balance. And um, I don't think it should be with my line of work. I think it needs to have that balance, but a healthy balance. Um, I'm always thinking about my regular biological kiddos, but then also my pediatric patient kiddos. Um, I call them all my kiddos. Um, so that's where it, it kind of blends and merges together. So with um, growing up, um, my grandfather needed the assistance of a lot of nurses and a lot of medical care. Um, he was a burn victim and having those nurses in place just with, with the medical field, how much it was of an importance to his health and just relaying information to us as little kids. Um, that was the first where I, I knew I needed to get into the medical field and to be able to be of service and to help. Um, so when I went into nursing school, I didn't think hospice or home health or home-based services. Um, during nursing school, um, that chapter is probably only three pages long. So when um, I was given the opportunity to start my career uh, in hospice, I just fell in love with it. I have the, sounds cliche, but the heart for hospice. Um, I like how I'm able to become part of the care and um, help and assist with the journey. Um, it's not always beginning. We do have the end of the journey and I've just, that's spoken to me and it's always had me to be um, where I'm gonna eventually just stay with hospice. I did adults and then um, transitioned over they, they, to the pediatrics. They say they stole me from the adult side, but um, I wouldn't see it any other way of whether it's with adults or kiddos. It's, it's my calling. Yeah, so when she called me, um, I didn't recognize the number, so I let her go to voicemail. Um, and then so I, we played phone tag for a minute and then um, she let me know what it was about. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. And she goes, you know who nominated you? I'm like, no, your sister did. And I was like, ah, oh. she didn't even tell me nothing. She was keeping it a big old secret. Um, so today I, I let her know that um, I did get one of the people to be chosen. And um, yeah, she's happy for me for that too. I think it's awesome. I think it's amazing. I think it helps to bring awareness um, to kind of what I do and to um, let it further reach out to the community. Sorry about reach out to the community about what um, options or what's available out there um, for anyone who would be in a certain situation.